I mean, for me, coming to Wilmington, it feels like there are millions of stories on every corner. And so the place is just soaked in story. And as filmmakers, that's our MO, to find stories. And as someone coming from the outside, I feel just inspired by the people that live here and by the expertise and skill in members of the industry that you have here. And I mean, I, the seed is planted. I definitely want to come back here and make a film. I don't know if it'll be in my next one, but certainly in the next few years, you can count on it. Absolutely. Um, I mean, Dan runs a great ship here at Kukaloras, and he has uh, said that 50% of the films programmed are written or directed by women. That is fantastic. And he just made a pledge to continue doing that every single year, which is huge. Um, there's many of us making films. I think that the challenge is a platform of exhibition. I mean, without film festivals, audiences wouldn't get to our films because generally distributors and exhibitors aren't spending their money on marketing and spending a lot of promotion and advertising dollars on films directed by women. So festivals are crucial for us as a first platform to meet, to meet and reach an audience. And then from there, if we make a sale, if we get a distributor, if we get a world sales agent, if we get some press. I mean, I got a crazy amount of press for the Animal Project, and there was a great feature article on He Hated Pigeons. That's something I can leverage. That's so important for us as especially women filmmakers because we are in the minority, and we need festivals like Kukaloras to champion us, and it's doing just that, and it's, um, it's really, really important. And that Dan pledged to continue to do that, that it's not just a one-time thing. It's not a flavor of the year kind of thing. That's really, really crucial and important. In terms of what I think we bring that's different, I mean, we have our own experiences of the world, and I feel like cinema, world cinema, should reflect a diverse uh, voice, and we want all our stories up there. We don't just want white male stories up there. So women of all races, of all experiences, need to be telling their stories, and filmmaking is a very expensive medium. And I think it's one of the most enviable industries in the world. So to be a part of the industry is, I think, a great privilege. But it is expensive not only to make the films, but to exhibit and distribute them. So um, we got our work cut out for us. There's no shortage of stories. There's no shortage of skill. Um, there's no shortage of amazing, delicious, juicy actors and crew members. Now with equipment and technology, we have even more ability to do things at a micro-budget level. The issue is sustainability. So if we're not paying ourselves, how do we survive? And so women tend to make one or two films and then they fall off. I want to see women making 20, 30, 40 films. If Woody Allen can do it, if Herzog can do it, women can do it. So for that to happen, we need support. And Wilmington is definitely doing its job. I feel like mentorship is important that women who have had experiences over the last 20, 30 years are mentoring the younger women that are just coming up, that are emerging, because there's such a wealth of information. So for example, a really important mentor for me is Melissa Leo, who um, stood up for me at a film festival in Whistler, where I was awarded, uh, I was awarded uh, an honor from the Alliance of Women Film Journalists. So this was for the Animal Project. I was received this honor as best director from journalists in the UK, in the States, in Canada. And everyone was like, we want to see more films by women. I was like, yeah, I do too. So I'm on this podium, and the award was a, a talking stick, a, a beautifully engraved totem pole. And they said, when you receive this talking stick, you can speak from your heart uncensored. So I was up there, I did not expect to receive this award, and I was like, okay, well, I would like to see more films written and directed by women. Everyone was like, yeah! There's like hundreds of people in the room. The tables cost a lot of money. There's like the Hollywood Reporter table, and the Variety table, and the Directors Guild, and Telefilm Canada. And I was like, right, okay, so I'm going to launch an initiative, it was January, where six Canadian women who have already made a feature will be writing their next feature, and in six months, there will be six original scripts 
by six Canadian women from across the country. Will anyone in this room step up with $6,000 for a first look at these scripts? Like, silence. 